So, next game with cable control. Starting it is pretty decent, but uh, it could backfire if we do not draw two swamps. Let's see what our opponent is playing. Might be elves or something like. Oh. I I really uh, regretted this build, to be honest. It's like just too casual. Of course, nowadays in the pre modern online league, there is not much space for trying things out. It's a survival here, probably. And we have like two to three dead cards. Oh, seven library, one of the best cards against uh, our deck. No swamp yet. If you want to play this deck, you need to be aware of uh, just losing a lot. It's just a fun casual deck. I think it's a very cool deck, but yeah, the the meta game is so soft right now that there is not uh, much room to play around if you're playing online. You just uh, meet tier zero to uh, tier two decks at most, but most of them are the tier one decks, uh, which is okay, but uh, with this deck you are just hoping to dirtle a bit more around and yeah, no swarm in the first three draws. I'm just thinking if I should upload these videos because they are probably so disappointing to watch, but. I'm not sure at this point if it's fun to watch for you. Because some games are so ridiculous bad that there is not even a chance to have a spot. And it's so clear at the early point where this is going. Good thing is, you know what to sideboard out a lot. And maybe, I'm not sure, maybe we need more something like Dark Ritual. Man, we are running so much land. There's like 1% chance we can win this now, because we are like, for four turns we did not draw any land. I think we need to get rid of this. So let's do it with a Diabolic Addict and ship the turn, because we can't do more here. And in this constellation, it's not even remotely fun to play. But I think it's it's my my fault because I wanted to play around a bit, try some cards. But I think I it's it's not coming to screw so many games. So maybe we are just on the bad side of luck this month.
Uh, we can't uh, win from here. Spinning darkness, it's okay. Musty core should be playable. These things for Inger and Squee Goblin Nabu. Mutilate. Hounding Echoes is not the right thing to do. So it's a mind sludge because it's so slow. It knocks. The avatar decree is fine due to the cycling ability. Skeletal scrying is mostly unplayable. Mm, so how do we plan to win? It's nether spirit, it's bad. Corrupt is very slow, but we need some way to win later. The arena is not playable. And I think we get rid of one Eurus, because we will miss so often. But Eurus is a black card. You have something for spinning darkness. Let's get rid of one corrupt. Yeah, that's okay. Let's keep this. We have some interaction. We have the furnace. The problem with the mono black deck is that even if you get to the late game, there is not the turning point you have with other decks. As for example, with uh, Mook, the mono blue control deck, you can just play tight and exhaul all of its lands and win with the man lands and here you're just relying on some creatures and corrupt and real life and this is not enough i even thought about uh, adding some mishras factories to the deck but they are interacting badly with the cover coffers um play this Play the furnace too. I think we will cycle one of these. Uh, it's important to get rid of the anger, so it's not a huge problem here to have a second and we can cycle one. Plus, we is strong. Okay, we need to cycle one to get more land, and if we miss, I might scoop. It's super bad because we are lowering our account for spinning darkness, but yeah, it's it's this monthly. It's a bit cursed. And spinning darkness is a super bad card in the deck. Because not like the mono black Argo deck, you're filling up your graveyard with rituals and something. So here the question is uh, if I edict or if I wait. Or you turn with decree and the second question is if i need to cycle this i think i will go to my turn and play innocent blood because i don't want him to have natural order next turn get something like a symbiotic worm Survival, it, it's not a problem here, because we have the Furnace. And he needs to tutor up a, a Vigilante first. Okay.
Maybe he will get an Octavi Orang Utan. Multani's Echo Light to get some card advantage. It's okay. So at this point, I'm thinking again, should, shouldn't I have cut the Phyrexian Arena, maybe? Here we can ship the turn back. So again, uh, it looks pretty stable right now, but we still are facing the problem that we do not have any card advantage. So maybe we try to set up a huge degree of pain, because if we destroy the cards, but it's so far away. Yeah, get rid of that. So having him at 2-1 for, uh, it's fine for me, we do not get rid of it. Okay, so now we have Spinning Darkness live. So now he will, he should get something like the Vigilante to get rid of the Furnace, but maybe he's bought it out. Because the Furnace is... Uh, the reason he can't go for a route with Squee Goblin Nabu. Natural order probably. So if he attacks here. I don't want to play removal right now. Because I think we can handle everything from natural order. So that's interesting. He has two mana to flip it to kill the furnace so we are an end step here do i want to cycle the decree i don't think so i will go into my turn I think it might be time for Mutilate in a second. Survival. He has an Hermit and Karmal. So, Hermit, Karmal. Do we want to play Mutilate? I think we do. Cause 5 damage return is a bit too much. Yeah, we want to exile the survival. Okay, we have one spinning darkness up now. It should be fine. He does not tutor it. So now he would, I think, yeah, he makes a squee. Okay. So cool thing would be for him playing the Hermit and us hardcasting the decree to draw like five cards, but it's, don't know if it's possible. Um, let's yield here. Okay. So 
So what do we want? I do want to play a huge decree. Problem is that he can set up something like to draw up a call of the claw. So I think I would like to play Spinning Darkness here to get a bit of speed out. He does not have a mountain yet, which is nice. But he has a value plan with Squee. Granger will find him. Yeah, it's really tough to win from here. Um, I think we do need to. Ah, no, let's wait. You can tutor up one more card. Yeah, we do have the mana. So if we manage to yeah, play a decree and kill like seven creatures or something, we do not need to take one hit for that. So I think we might be in urgency to cycle that. But we will see. Let's do not think too much about it. So he's paying Echo. Priest, Karma, Hermit. He's attacking here. It's okay, I will take one hit. So the problem if, uh, is if he gets Karma down and we want to play Decree, he just can animate our lands and we will wipe our own board. Phyrex and Furnace would be a very nice draw. Get rid of the Squee. So go for the combo. I don't know if Decree for 2 will be enough. Innocent Blood. Decree for 2. But here's stuff like Hermit. So he plays Hermit, plays Karmai. I think we need to draw 2 here. Sadly. Otherwise, a combination of Gas Cradle and Deranged Hermit could be too much. Must be quite strong. I don't think we can play him right now. Because we won't have mana to ping and he can just destroy it with something and we do need two points of interaction, but this can win us a game with the Kaba Coffers.
but even that would not swing the game too much, I guess, because at some point he will be able to pump his team. Green Ranger. Symbiote. So let's edict here. Do we need to edict? I guess. Okay, that's fine. Bouncing the forest. Okay, because he needs to sex it, I understand. Echo light. I think we need to play spinning darkness here. Because we do not want him to have this card advantage. Now Masticor needs to ride that home. Okay, just of Titania. I think attack for three here. Okay, attack for two. So this is 8 mana, will be enough to Diabolic Tutor, okay, interesting. Uh, what can we do? It's crazy that I did not even play Engineered Plagues this month, but I just copied a deck and added some things, removed some things. So Squeeze and Graveyard, what can we do here? It's like... 8 mana, 14 mana, to do what? I think the right play is to bring down the Musty Core. Shoot the Echo Light. And then we have regeneration or three shoots open. So get rid of that. Okay. Get rid of that. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's brutal. We, we need maybe we need to tutor for a furnace, but it sounds pretty bad to do that. Yeah, Echo Light for card advantage. Which means he's pretty desperate at that point. I think I bought it out Mind Sludge. Otherwise, yeah, Hypnox would be okay. Okay. Yeah, tough game. I'm not thrilled about it, but it worked out somehow. Do we need Haunting Echoes? I, d I think it's a trap, cause... But something like the disc, will we ever be able to resolve this? Or is Corrupt? Corrupt should not be the right thing to do, or? We need to win somehow, but... I think we, but then we just can win with one Bizarra and a Masticor. This doesn't seem right. But Haunting Echoes can't be right. Uh, 
The disk is just too slow, I have to admit. If he has Octavio wrong Utan or uh, something like uh, the Vigilante, that's not the thing we want to do. Avatar War might work to cast it for two mana. And I think I want to have one arena. Touch match. Yeah, the squee is giving me nightmares. That's a good hand. It's hard to decide on turn one if you want to play Innocent Blood or Duress. But I think Duress might be correct. Because we want him... Uh, we need two more land, but we have like... We get the Spinning Darkness life in turn three. So do we want to get rid of that? Or do we want to take a look if he has something like... So not drawing a land here changes the mass. Um, yeah, we need to get rid of that, I guess. Not 100% sure, but even if his second turn play is... Uh, Survival, okay. Okay. Yeah, no, no land again. This is brutal. I don't know if is twenty four not not enough. It should be enough. Third land here. Please let me hit something. Naturalize 7 library, it takes 7 library. And I think we are going to Spinning Darkness here, because together with the Gears Cradle, we are um, taking 2 mana. I don't know if I draw another land, I might play Diabolic Tutor. Uh, this is wrong, Diabolic Tutor for uh, Musty Core, because he has Naturalize. So we have this, and we tutor up a, a, something like a furnace could be right to handle the squee, the anger. Cable coffers might be right. But we have everything to handle. But he hasn't naturalized for furnace. Tough choice. I think I would try for the cable coffers. So, the problem is that he can return his Priest of Titania to hand, meaning the Mutilate is just a one-for-one, one, but um, the first Mutilate might slow him down enough that it's worse to play it. Okay, let's send back the Cable Coffers one more turn. I want to exchange the Mutilate for his Wire with Symbiote. Because he needs to return the Priest of Titania and doesn't have the ability to play it, make haste. So best draw would be Mastico right now. Because we could just tutor it up and have regeneration mana up. So just the Priest of Titania and we'll make at least two mana. So Drain Life might be right here on that. Five, six, seven, eight. 
So six damage on that. It does not feel very good, but I think we have to do that. Because at that point we just would lose to something like survival plus squee. And we need to get some mana out here. That's good. Spinning darkness, not yet. So he's one naturalized left in hand we know about. Let's see if he pays for that. Yeah, I don't want to kill it after that. We could, so he would not have... Okay, he takes the Cradle Mana, which is intelligent. Yeah, we do not want to get rid of that right now. Some of our creatures would be nice. Swamp. There might be an argument to uh, keep the swamp back. To have something to discard uh, for Musty Core, but at the point where we get Musty Core, the game will instantly turn around. So I just want to have more mana for something like Tutor into Musty Core. Yeah, we Maya Granger, okay. This might be enough for me to pull the trigger on Mutilate, but I don't think so. Because he even has a mountain. But Mutilate would slow down his mana that's very strong so let's go for this tutor two mana left it's possible to get visara here and we could play her then we won't have any mana up I think we need to get Musty Core, but I don't see it right now. Ah, here it is. Musty Core. If we play it, he can naturalize, we regenerate. I don't think that's the thing we want to do, but I think I'm here for the mutilate. And we have Spinning Darkness up. And if we untap with the Masticore, it should give him nightmares. Yeah, after the leak, I would, I will um, take a look at the old build. So that's not hasty yet. Corrupt, okay. Let's go for the Masticor, ping this one time, or not. But yeah, let's do it like this. Oh, we could even kill a squirrel. Yeah, we ping this here. There would have been an argument to play it without the Kabelkov's mana, so that we can ping after he paid, but I don't think he want to pay for that. 8 mana, Verdant Force, probably. Verdant Force hardcast. So what can we do? 3 or 5 damage? 
that's not enough. So he is in the end step here. I'm not sure if he plays something like crumble, but I have the feeling that we... I, I don't need to play in, inside a crumble. So he will get a... Sub rolling there. I would like to discard the Spinning Darkness. Diabolic Edict is a card we will discard next turn. So let's play a Corrupt here. We will lose against Double Naturalize or something like Naturalize plus uh, vigilante. So are we going to attack? I don't think so, because he would just block with four creatures. And then... Rangers, okay. Attack. Um, I think we want to block here. Blocking Squirrel. If he gets another Hermit, it won't pump these up rolling. Discard the Edict. Furnace is okay. It costs a mana. And what do we have here? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It would cycle, so at best we would get a card out of his hand. I think this is a point where I started taking. And we want to get rid of the ranger here because I don't want him to bounce his forest. A call of the claw is fine. He gets a 2 2. So here I need to think about pinging these to lower his mana. So let's. Here's one naturalize. 
But we are not in trouble yet. Yeah, I don't want to expose that to two naturalized effects. Six, it's fine for me. Okay, hard task we. Mm, that's a good blocker for the Mastico. He still has one naturalize. So we can just do like three pings. First we'll go here. Because I want to be the aggressor now. Like this. Okay, six minutes left. I have to speed up a bit. Squirrel. A squirrel. Get rid of that. Izara is nice, but we need something to discard into the musty core and i don't think at that point Vizara would be better than musty core because musty core can kill plenty of creatures okay you can have the squeak Here I would like to think twice. First to that. You have to click a lot with Masticore, which is a small disadvantage if you're playing on time. He just have one naturalize, meaning that we can continue pinging here. much room to misclick and i am not uh, here for shipping priority again because in that case he can just kill it if i auto yield okay get rid of Visara. we're having a four turn clock here we want to ping that And I think at that point we are so far from it's fine. I'm not sure what he can tutor for. Maybe Hermit, but we could kill it maybe Genesis. But that's a three turn clock now, and we have plenty of mana to ping. We would draw an own musty core that would be good for him because he could just block regenerate but i don't know if he brought it in in town elves okay not impressed by that i 
So let's ping here. Corrupt for six damage is not enough. Seven would be enough. Or if I would have a another swamp, we could kill here. But if I play it now, I will leave him on one. And I needed to sacrifice a Mastico next turn. And we would lose like this. We could get a Hermit to get some more time, because I need some time to ping it. And that's what I meant. We are at turn 16 now. Other control decks, if you are at turn 16, they are just winning by by a huge amount and here we're still a bit sweating over accelerating but you know what i mean the particle light Just pinging them now. He still will naturalize open, meaning he can naturalize that. And I need to regenerate it, so it's tough for one turn, but it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, it's not going to naturalize. I'm wondering a bit. Oh, will he? Yes. He will play the naturalize. I need to regenerate. So, ship the turn. He is pretty resilient, but I don't think he have any out for the Musty Core. Probably searching for something like a Vigilante, but this won't help. Yeah, the Vigilante, but we have another Regeneration Shield. Okay. Yeah, here I'm going to activate the cable coffers because I want to attack with the Musty Core next turn. And if I untap, he will be able to naturalize. So 
So if he flips, I would like to regenerate here. Yeah, but it's awesome to see a musty core taking down a whole deck. Okay, let's regenerate. He might have another um, naturalize, so I don't want to ping the Priest of Titania here. But I hope, yeah, maybe we just grew, up, grew corrupt and end the game. Another swamp. So we are going to attack here. But before blockers, I would like to ping the priest. Karma, okay. What will he search? Cream Ranger. Another cradle. It's fine, Ranger. In response, I would like to ping three times. One. Yeah, what a match. Good game.